असलम स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माई चैनल अम्बर्स लर्निंग हब वेलकम टू माई सेकेंड लेक्चर और आज हम सॉल्व करेंगे यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ सरगोदा के एम ए पार्ट टू का फर्स्ट एनअल टू थाउजेंड नाइनटीन का इंग्लिश का पेपर जो कि है मॉडर्न पोइट्री का और उसके हम शार्ट क्वेश्चन को सॉल्व करेंगे स्टूडेंट्स लेट्स बिगिन क्वेश्चन नंबर वन इज राइट शॉर्ट आंसर्स ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इन टू टू थ्री लाइंस ऑन योर आंसर शीट्स तो स्टूडेंट्स लेट्स स्टार्ट विद क्वेश्चन नंबर वन क्वेश्चन नंबर वन इज डिफाइन रोमांटिक एज इन योर ओन वर्ड्स स्टूडेंट्स लेट्स स्टार्ट राइटिंग इट्स आंसर एंड इट्स आंसर इज रोमांटिक एज इज Also called spirit age. Spirit age जो हम लिखेंगे उसका हमने एस लिखना है बड़ा और इसको हम लोग लिखेंगे ऐसे इन्वर्टिड कॉमर्स में स्पिरिट का एस भी बड़ा और ए भी बड़ा होगा ओके okay? और उसके बाद है रोमांटिक एज इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड स्पिरिट एज During this period, freedom and spontaneity were the key elements in poetry. Before this period, a poem was considered a classical work of art, assimilated, assimilated, a double s i m i. L A T E D assimilated to please an audience. In romanticism, the rules hanging over poetry were dropped, and a piece of work could be considered as. poets imaginative vision students we have done question number 1 let's move to the question number 2 question number 2 is what is the major theme in the poem the divine am image the divine image is written by william blake okay let's start its answer its answer is in the poem the divine image the personified figures of mercy pity peace and love are listed as virtues of delight by using all these virtues human beings can achieve not only god's mercy and happiness but also it helps or directs people that they should love and respect each other regardless of their religion and culture students we have done question number 2 let's move to the question number 3 question number 3 is what is the central idea of the poem tintern abbey tintern abbey is written by wordsworth let's starts writing its answer question number Three's answer is the main theme of the poem Tintern Abbey is the poet's relationship with nature. Students, आपको बताती चलूँ कि जो words वर्ड था उसको poet of nature भी कहा जाता था Here in the poem, we find that how nature influenced him. and brought him peace 
and tranquility of mind when he was lost in the bustle of city he recounts his vision clearly about faith in nature according to him nature heals soothes sood s double o t h e s soothes and reforms human beings in the poem we closely come to a conclusion that wordsworth is a lover of meadows and woods meadows m e a d o w s meadows the poem is entirely based on real incidents and emotions in wordsworth's life students we have done question number 3 let's move to the question number 4 question number 4 is what type of memories wordsworth recall in the prelude okay students question number 4 is also from wordsworth poem prelude and the answer of question number 4 is the prelude is entirely based on words words real life incidents and his emotions with his sister he recalls many childhood memories for example the poet recalls how from his house on summer afternoon a sparkling patch of diamond light could be seen in neighboring woods he remembers ghost he remembers ghost the tom of a night night k n i g h t a night magic caves and palace students we have done question number 4 Let's move to the question number five. The question number five is explain the given lines with the name of the poet and the poem in your own words. But still, will keep a bower quiet for us as and a steep. These lines have been taken from the poem Endymion by John Keats. So students let's start explaining the, these lines and the answer of question number 5 is these lines have been taken from the poem Endymion by John Keats in this stanza in these lines of the poem the poet is introducing the aspects of life and beauty the speaker believes that if someone is beautiful it gives off a joy that will exist throughout time there is no end to the increase of loveliness that will arise alongside the beauty beauty will always be there for those who need it keeping a bower quiet and ready it will provide one with sweet dreams as well as health students क्वेश्चन नंबर फाइव का आंसर हम कर चुके हैं नाउ वी विल स्टार्ट क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स स्टूडेंट्स क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स इज व्हाट इज नेगेटिव 
क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स इज एक्सप्लेन द लाइन्स विद नेम ऑफ द पॉइंट एंड द पोइम इन योर ओन वर्ड्स वेयर आर द सॉन्ग्स ऑफ स्प्रिंग ए वेयर आर दे थिंक नॉट ऑफ दैम दो हैस्ट दाई म्यूजिक टू तो स्टूडेंट्स ये जो लाइन्स हैं और टू आर्टम्स में से ली गई हैं और और टू आर्टम लिखी है जॉन केट्स ने तो लेट्स स्टार्ट क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स आंसर दीज लाइन्स हैव बीन टेकन फ्रॉम द पोइम ओ टू ऑटम बाय जॉन केट्स इन द गिवन लाइन्स द पोइट इन द गिवन लाइन्स द स्पीकर tells autumn not to wonder where the songs of spring are but he suggests her to listen her own music as the poet describes autumn as a female goddess and season of fruits and late flowers which ripens and bloom blooms with the intimacy of sunshine students we have done question number 6 let's start question number 7 question number 7 is what is negative capability क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवन का आंसर लिखना शुरू करते हैं तो इसका आंसर है द फ्रेज नेगेटिव कैपेबिलिटी वॉज यूज बाय द इंग्लिश पोइट जॉन केट्स इट मीन्स व्हेन अ मैन इज कैपेबल ऑफ बीइंग इन अनसर्टेनिटीज mysteries doubts without any irritable reaching the fact and reason students let's start question number 8 question number 8 is what is the central idea of the poem wild swan at cool तो स्टूडेंट्स वाइल्ड स्वा एट कूल इज रिटन बाय जीट्स लेट्स राइट आंसर इन दिस पॉइम द वाइल्ड स्वा एट कूल जीट्स एक्सप्लोर्स द फ्रेलिटी ऑफ ह्यूमन लाइफ थ्रू हिज स्पीकर the speaker becomes keenly aware of his own aging he admits he has he has changed in every way but swan did not in the poem the poet brings his readers to feel the passing of time the poem is both a meditation on aging and the passage of time nature is one of the poems central themes this contains the idea that humans will die a new ones will be born but nature will remain the same beautiful and eternal so students we have done question number 8 let's start question number 9 question number 9 is write a note on the life of philip larkin in your own words 
and the answer for question number 9 is Philip Larkin was born on 9 August 1922 in England his life was cold and uneventful neither friends nor family ever visited their home during his school years philip started writing he also developed passion for jazz and his father encouraged it in june 1943 Three of Larkin's poems, a stone church damaged by a bomb. Students, ये poem का नाम है a stone church damaged by a bomb. Mythological introduction and I dreamed of an out thrust arm of land. were published also in the same year he graduated with a honors degree his popular works include students we have done question number 9 let's start question number 10 question number 10 is what is central idea of the poem mr bleeney mr bleeney is written by philip larkin let's start question number 10's answer the poem mr bleeney was written by famous poet philip larkin in this poem the poet depicts the theme of loneliness the condition of room shows that how rough and lonely it must have been to live there box evokes the image of a coffin mr bleeney's life was full of boredom and the people around him never cared for him so students we have solved ma english part 2 paper modern poetry first annual 2019s students Thanks for watching this video if you like my lecture please subscribe my channel aur students channel ko subscribe karna isliye bhi mat bhule kyunki hum mere aane wale lectures mein hum log university of sargoda ke solve papers par mazid lectures upload karenge thank you very much thanks for watching allah hafiz